Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. It is a gray, gray morning, um, but it's finally stopped raining, which is awesome because I have some plans. The yard has been studded with these magnificent purple violets. Well, violet violets. <laughs> They're purple. Come on. They're purple. They're lovely. And we've got white ones out front and we've got purple ones in the back. And I'm going to go outside and grab a whole bunch of the purple ones in my trusty mason jar. We need about two cups of flowers. So I'll meet you outside and uh, then we'll bring it back in and turn it into something sugary. That's the neighbor's kitty joker. See they're over here in like these little clumps. just all over the place, mostly along the edges. Look at this one. Look at this beauty. Look how pretty. So a quick note, but an important one. Know what you are picking. Um, so especially if you're foraging off your land, make sure it hasn't been sprayed by, by the people who live there. Um, or conversely, the road crews, because sometimes you'll find these along the berms and you'll want to pick them, but uh, it's kind of iffy. They could be full of heavy metals because they've been out by the road. They could have been sprayed. Sometimes the highway department likes to do that. So best bet is to find a whole bunch in a friend's yard or your own yard and go from there. But let me show you what these violets look like. Okay, these are my violets. You can see they, they are a beautiful quote-unquote weed and they grow alongside all kinds of business. I've got ground ivy in here, and I've, we've got grass, obviously. There's some clover in here, too. Okay, this is that lovely plant. You can see it's got an open mouth. There are five petals. And that is our wild violet. They look a little bit like pansies. And they have these long stocking necks. Their leaves are spade shaped like this. And they're small, they're little. So that's what you're looking for as far as the violets. They look like miniature pansies. Um, they do have that open throat and mouth, almost like a little dragon's tongue. Um, and they have five petals on them got plenty of violets in the jar. We've got plenty left on the grounds. So let's get this in and start making our jelly. Look how pretty. And now I'm going to give them a rinse and then they need to steep in boiling water. I think it said three and a half cups on everything I've read. And that will sit for a few hours, which is great because I want to get these jars into the dishwasher, put them up on a heated dry so that they're still warm by the time the water bath is up to temp. We never want to put cold jars into the water bath, right? And we never want to fill cold jars with hot stuff either because it'll crack. So I'm going to get on that. I'll meet you back here in a few hours once our violets have had time to steep. cups there we go three and a half cups so oh look at that it's already turning blue look at that so welcome back it's been a few hours I've run the dishwasher I have the canning equipment heating up on the stove and Look at this. 
Look at that tea. That is our violet tea. So we're gonna strain this off into a jar and add some lemon juice. And I'm told that I should watch real closely. It's blue again. Well, it's actually, it's, it's violet. <laughs> she juicy. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, whoa. Oh, no way. That is super cool. It went from this beautiful, deep, bluish purple all the way to this grapey pink kind of purple. Super cool. Okay, so let's move over to the stove, grab our pectin and get going. You can see we've got the big pot going so that we can water bath process our jars when they're ready. Those jars are still in the warm dishwasher. I'll snuggle down and <laughs> getting ready. And over here, we're gonna put together our jelly. Good times, it's gonna be foggy over there. It is steamy all up in here. <laughs> so you're gonna be able to see better than I can because if I wear my glasses, they're gonna fog up. Yep, they're gonna fog up. So let's get you over this pot so that you can see what's going on. Ooh, if I lean this way, it doesn't fog. All right, so let's get you into this pot so you can see what's going on. Okay, so here's our pot. We're going to add to it the tea that we made and I have weighed out 1.75 ounces of pectin so we're gonna get that in there whisk it get all the lumps out we haven't even reached a boil yet and it's already thicker you can feel it's like slippery on the bottom there when you move the spoon around in it. But what we're waiting for is a rolling boil. And a rolling boil is a boil that cannot be stirred down. There we go. And we are at a rolling boil. So I'm going to have a look at the clock. And I'm making sure that we're only going to be doing this for a minute. So that's our 60 seconds. Now I'm going to add in all the sugar at once. And we're going to stir this to dissolve it and at the same time bring it up to 10. Here. There is our rolling boil. So I'm going to take a peek at the sweep hand and we're going to keep this going for 60 seconds longer. And there we are. We're going to take this off the stove now and get it ready to go in our jar. So we have the jars put together. We are finger tight and ladled all in. And so it's off for a 10 minute process in the water bath. Good morning, it's tomorrow. And we're finally getting around to looking at the jelly. It came out just gorgeous. Look at that, look at that color, holy cow. The sun shining through it, it looks like little gems. I got three half pints, one, two, three, and 
about a half of a half pint, which I just let set in the refrigerator overnight. So we're going to try that out and taste it. Let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you why you're seeing this in a tomorrow. You'll notice that the sound is iffy on some bits of footage, and that's because I essentially blanched my phone. The microphone definitely got doused. Uh, luckily, Bill is an arms and armor conservator, so he had all kinds of bits and bobs to clean that noise out, and he got on it pretty fast for me. So I think we're back and up to speed, but I may be looking at a new phone. <laughs> um, but anyway, jelly. The jelly came out just lovely. I've got some nice homemade bread here with a little bit of butter on it. Let's see how this jelly goes. The texture is really nice on this. You can see it gelled up real well. Pink and rosy. Let's spread this around. So I'm not necessarily a jelly kind of person. Um, so this is interesting for me. I don't do peanut butter and jelly. Um, just don't eat a lot of jelly, but my guys do. So let's find out how this came out. And it's really nice. It tastes sunny. Um, it's not pronouncedly violet. It's sweet. You can taste the lemon in it. You can taste a little bit of a floral hint. It's a little bit herbal. Um, this is very pleasant. This is really, really nice. And I don't eat a lot of jelly. I like this. Especially with the, the saltiness of the butter, it really pairs well. <laughs> this is a game we play. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not the big jelly eater in the household. Really, I made this for the guys. What do you think? Mm. Whoops. It's really, really good. It's an interesting flavor, right? It's very light. Yeah. Not too sweet. Um, in spite of the three and a half cups of sugar. In spite of the three and a half cups of sugar, it doesn't taste like three and a half cups of sugar. It's really, it doesn't taste violently. It tastes, I mean, a little bit of the lemon in there, but it's fruity. I thought I felt it was a little herbal too. Yeah. I was expecting like flowers sort of like that big floral that big punch. Floral punch. But it's not. I like it with the butter too. Yeah, I like that salty sweet combination. Oh. Mm. This is really good. This would be awesome mm -hmm. on pancakes. Oh. Oh my god. You know, there you can make um, violet syrup. I could give that a shot. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. There's plenty out there. I violet made syrup it coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Can't talk. Eating. <laughs> so much for hanging out with us through this journey. Um, we'll catch you up soon. Take care. Oops. <laughs>